Well, as I mentioned earlier, some of our most southeastern counties down here have some increased cloud cover. They have been looking at isolated rain chances and will continue to do so throughout the first half of our week. So these are some of our cooler spots with those lower 80s. The rest of us here in the Concho Valley in the mid to upper 80s, as you look towards the big country, those are upper 80s, lower 90s as our current temperatures. Over the next few hours, as I mentioned before the break, we will see a decrease in cloud cover. We've been partly cloudy throughout the day today. We'll go to mostly sunny to then mostly clear after sunset around 9 p.m. when we check back in again with you all. We'll be around 81 degrees here in San Angelo. The remaining of our counties in the viewing area will still be in those lower 80s, possibly upper 70s as well. Tonight lows are going to be in the lower to mid 60s with mostly clear skies as we're now nine days from the first day of fall. Sunset is at 750 and those lows are just getting cooler and cooler. We actually had a few nights this weekend where we saw lows in the 50s even. So it's starting to feel more like fall, but shifting gears really quickly to the tropics. This is Tropical Storm Nicholas that we've been talking about throughout the day. That's going to make landfall sometime this evening into the morning as either a strong tropical storm or a weak category one hurricane. Now we're going to look at two more areas of interest here in the tropics. This is just off the coast of Africa. This has an 80 percent chance of tropical development development, forgive me, by the end of the week. And this other disturbance that's down near the Caribbean islands has a 50% chance of tropical development by the end of the week. So by Friday, even into the weekend, we're looking at the possibility of having two more active storms. But we're going to bring this back to West Texas just to talk a little bit about how Nicholas is going to impact us. So for the next few days, we're going to stay fairly cool the first half of this work week because of the extra moisture and cloud cover in the air is going to inhibit us from warming up any. But once Nicholas is no longer a concern for Texas, we're going to start to pick back up to the 90s, peaking at the mid 90s by the end of the week into the weekend. Those rain chances that I mentioned earlier are going to be isolated on Tuesday and Wednesday, mainly concentrated on those southeastern counties. But once Nicholas passes over into Louisiana by midweek, we're going to start to dry back up. And I mean, here in West Texas, we're not looking at the 15 inches that they're looking at in Houston, but it is a concern for some of those southeastern counties that they will be seeing those isolated rain chances. But by this time next week, we're looking to be back on a warming trend. Temperatures going to be way warmer than average per the Climate Prediction Center and precipitation chances are going to be lower than average. So back to that warm and dry that we're used to here in West Texas by this time next week. And to wrap all of this up the seven day, as you see, we're staying mostly sunny aside from those isolated rain chances. We are going to be a little below average with the presence of Tropical Storm Nicholas, but once he move, once it moves out the way, we'll get back to above average fairly quickly. Abilene, the same story, looking sunny throughout the forecast period, peaking at the mid-90s by this time next week.